In this video, you'll learn how to start seedlings in containers that you repurpose. And let's be clear on the difference between reusing and repurposing. I have this egg carton and I've eaten all the eggs and this carton is empty. Now if I refill it with eggs that my chicken farmer friends give me, I'm reusing. I'm using it again for the same thing. Now if I use this empty egg carton for something else like seeding plants, then that's giving this egg carton a new purpose. Therefore, it's being repurposed. And so try to reuse or come up with new ways to use stuff before recycling it. Okay, I really do have chicken farmer friends and I want you to meet them. Sophie? I'm seven. Sophie's seven and this is Reese? I'm five. And Reese is five and they're here to help me plant today. And Sophie, can you tell me, what do we need to grow a plant? Well, we'll need soil and then seeds that we'll plant in it. We also need rain and sun. Well, rain from like the rain or either from a rain can or the sun just from the sun. And then we need time to grow. That's perfect. Exactly, exactly, exactly what you need to grow a plant. Start with the soil, like you said. We have seed starting soil, and it's a soil mix that's lighter than regular soil so that the baby roots can get through the soil. So, Reese and Sophie, do baby roots have big muscles to get through heavy soil? Baby roots have big, have big no. muscles? No. They're baby roots, so they're, they're small they're and they're strong. fragile. They're not that strong yet. So you, that's why you need to use a seed soil mix. So, and then the other thing you'll need is some water. Some water. And one, two, three, sun! sun! That's right. So you'll also need some markers and some containers. So today we're using my favorite coconut milk boxes. I just cut the tops off and we reuse them. We have some cardboard egg cartons and some emptied rinsed eggshells. And the boxes in the egg containers are recyclable, but let's give them another life before we send them off to be recycled. Okay, and what's that called? Repurposing. 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 So the eggshells will be composted, um, and that's also repurposing. So right now we're going to start filling our containers with the seed soil mix. We'll also fill the eggshells and put them into the cartons and fill your containers till about that far from the top. Okay, about that okay. far from the top. Okay, so you can use your... So we get an egg mm -hmm. and we get some... Yeah, and you get some soil. And just dump it right on in there. Full. And you don't have to, no, you don't want it all the way full yet. This is really fun. Seeds, soil, water, sun. Seeds, seeds, soil, water, sun. It's all you need to grow, to grow a plant. Okay, so you can plant in dry soil and water after you seed, but because we're using containers that don't have drain holes on the bottom, we're gonna wet the soil before we seed and then water on the top. So, okay, I want you to imagine a sponge that you put in a bowl of water and you get it completely soaked. And you pull the sponge out and what is the sponge like? It's really wet and if you squeeze it, water comes out. It's, it's a lot of water, right? Would you agree, Reese? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's not how you want your soil. Okay, so imagine you take that sponge and you pull it out of the water and you squeeze all the water out. Is that sponge dry? Um, yes. yes. Is it dry? Now, if you took that sponge and you put it on your face, would there be any water on your face? Maybe. No. Okay. no. Oh, your face will be just wet. Just a little bit wet, right? Yeah, because yeah. there's probably some you kind of miss. Yes. And you should probably put water on it until you can feel it on the bottom. 
Yes. So that's how you want your soil. You don't want it too wet. You don't want it drippy wet. You just want it squeezed out damp. So that's how we're going to water our soil now before okay. we seed, okay? So you just take your glass of water and... We used to have, we used to have some of these over there. Okay. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me have these. Hold on, because these are teeny, weeny, weeny seeds. No. Okay, you're still going to need a little more. Go ahead, can you pour some in there? Not too much, but just a little. Oh, you're doing so good. That much? A little bit more. How's that? That's, that looks good. Can you mix it up a little bit? With these? Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. That much? Because we want to make sure, yeah, mix it up now. Don't put any more. We want to make sure that the soil is like that wrung out sponge, right? Yeah, kind of like this. Yeah. That's perfect, okay? Okay, yours is a little bit wet, so we're gonna add some soil to use, okay? And mix that up in there. There we go. Love it. All right. Now I'm on my six Wow. All right, fantastic, Sophie, fantastic, Reese. All right, what do we need to do now? We should probably plant the seeds. Great idea, I like that. Now, some plants need to be seeded directly where they're gonna grow in your garden, like kale and peas, because they don't want their roots disturbed um, from transplanting. So you plant those directly in the garden. But some plants do better if they're started indoors and you transplant them to the garden once their roots have gotten stronger sturdy enough to handle the move. So peppers and tomatoes are two of those plants and they do much better if you start them indoors and let their, grow, their roots grow stronger before moving them to the garden. So we're gonna seed some yellow tomatoes and some jalapenos and ground cherries, also known as gooseberries, some basil and some marigolds. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah. We have some basil. Yay, basil is fantastic. You can never have too much. We have too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'll keep all the basil. So here's a pro tip. Always label your containers before you add the seeds. Okay, so grab a Sharpie marker and label your containers. Write the name of the plant and the date that you seed it. Always look at the seed packet to see how deep to plant the seed. Small seeds stay closer to the top of the soil, so usually about a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch, or they're right on top of the soil. Um, so all the seeds we're planting today go a quarter inch deep. And how much is a quarter inch? Um, like, like a, this much. Teeny, yes, that and much, These okay. seeds are small, so yes. you're probably gonna put them a little bit under, or probably just on top. Right, they go, if you look at the seed packet, and it says a quarter inch down. So you make sure that you say you do what the seed packet says because if you have a tiny seed and you put it deep into the soil is it going to grow in the and come all the way up no, no i think it will like either do nothing or rot or not grow. that's exactly right because it needs uh warmth and it needs light in order to, to sprout yeah. yeah and it's not going to get all the way through the soil what we're gonna do is put the seeds right on top of the soil. Since we have wet soil, we're gonna put the seeds right on top and then add a quarter inch of soil. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah. do it. So these are my seeds. And remember to leave enough space between the seeds so that the seedlings have room to grow. Hold your hand up. Whoa! Yeah. Those are cool. That's neat, huh? Okay, good. So I just put them? Mm-hmm, just put it on top. They yeah, look I like porcupine quills. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. Cool. And One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six marigolds in here. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Lemon basil. 
lemon basil in here. It's going to be so good. Now we can top the seeds with some soil, just a quarter inch on top, because remember they have to be a quarter inch deep. We'll put a quarter inch of soil on top of the seeds we just planted and gently pat it down. Yeah, and it's mm -hmm. okay if you need some help. It is definitely okay if you need, need some help. I think I need some help. Okay. Or you could just try it a little bit yourself. Yes, and then like, see how much help you might need. Yes. This is gonna be amazing. And do we leave it dry? No. 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 The seeds need to be in damp soil to grow. So, and it's best to use a spray bottle, Reese, best to use a spray bottle to water the surface so it's gentle and it won't move the seeds. And a spray bottle makes it harder to overwater. Overwatering, overwatering is the most common mistake and it gives the seeds like zero chance of growing. So spray gently a couple of times a day uh, when you see that the top of the soil is dry. So, got it? Got it. Got it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's summarize. Seeds, soil, water, sun. Seeds, seeds soil, water, sun. That's all you need to grow. To grow a plant. These kind of plants need a lot of uh, warmth to grow. So, you want to put them inside in a sunny window. Yeah, but definitely don't put it in the microwave. Definitely don't put these in the microwave. And always put it in a, and after it's, it's growing up, put it in the garden. We'll give these a few weeks and they'll be ready to plant in the garden. So guys, can we do another video to show people how to transplant these to the garden? Yes, yeah, that would be amazing. Great, yeah, I think we should do that. So. Now you know what to do, so get started. And happy planting. And two, three. Peace, Peace and love. love. And repurposing. <laughs> In repurposing. Seeds, yeah. soil, water, sun. Seeds, soil, water, sun. That's all you need to grow.